sad and our hearts bitter. I believe strongly, in fact, I am optimistic that our coming together today is going to usher in peace, tranquility, and unity. Amen. So, Mama, Father, I would like you to eschew all bitterness and tell the people that owe you what your heart desires that we do for you to make you happy. Thank you, Father. Father, you taught us all how to pray and believe in God, trusting in his words and words alone. Therefore, I went on my knees just as you thought. And I called upon him, and the Holy Spirit revealed unto me that I should engage three of them in a contest. Yes, Father. But, but before that, I, I thought it wise to seek for the opinions of my parents and, and siblings. Wow. God be all the glory. Amen. Yeah. That is good. I knew it, that he will never fail us. So, you see, as a matter of fact, I prayed too. And God called me by my name and said, my son, today, peace shall return in your home. Amen. It has already started to manifest. <laughs> I'm so happy. <clears throat> um, my queen, as you can see, you are the mother of the house. So, who among the three do you prefer to come for our daughters and the marriage? My king, honestly, I'm very, very happy now that you're ready to open up. For my own opinion, I believe your father here have said it all. But you have the final decision. Okay? But since you want to know our minds, I will say you marry into a real family who are the plus. But even at that, I have no objection to your opinion. Sir, that's the only pattern. Which? of the two royal families are you talking about? Any of the two will have a policy for the future. Well, well, well. The mother of the house has voiced out her opinion. As a no joiner, they are judged. Um, let's hear from our friends. My friends. Um, what is your take? Well, Father, I am going to make my suggestions for some reasons. Firstly, you see, Father, Prince Hugo is from a real family with great esteem. Secondly, that young man is very handsome. He is sociable. Is well educated. Thirdly, we all know that Prince Hugo has been a very long friend to the royal household. And a friendly father. Oh, well, <laughs> I can like to say that, Nisha, with your daddy and Joe. Yes. Um, let's hear from our princess. Father, as much as we are free to make suggestions on whom my sister should marry, I feel she is old enough to know where the pendulum of her heart tears to. 
But if I wear her, I will stop chasing shadows. Father, what is not as you can child over the animal of you? I wear the shoe. Thus, I do not wear its bridges. Please, Father, send out the monsters to the kings. For in a week time, we will be hosting a contest. A hunting and wrestling contest. And whoever emerges the winner will automatically become my husband. May God Almighty see them through, Father. Amen. 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 That's good. Amen. That's good. Please, let us do this with one mind. We have all heard it. Now you two should listen. I want you to go to the kings of Mbuku and the Mbike kingdoms. I don't want you to go separately. Go together. Tell them, I am giving them 16 days. 16 days, I said, for their sons to compete on hunting and wrestling that will climax it. And whoever among their children that emerges the winner will take the hands of my daughter in marriage. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Your Majesty. I hope you heard me clearly. Yes, Your Majesty. Now go. My heart. My if you so good to set my eyes on you. My love, you know my heart yearns for you. My eyes, they admire you. And my body deserves you all days of my life. I can't wait for this endless sleepless night be over one day. But they that I will dwell in the ocean of my love for you. <laughs> And that day shall come. Because with God, everything is possible. Just believe. You know it is written that Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more. Just believe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your courage. I appreciate you. You should gain my heart more. <laughs> That reminds me, <clears throat> my father, the king of Umaru Kingdom, the wise man. You know he is a wise man. Thus he has set a wrestling and hunting contest for three of you. Whosoever emerges the winner qualifies to be my husband. But don't worry, I know, with God on our side, you shall emerge the winner. What can I say, if not God? I commit my strength and my haunting powers unto you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. The Queen of Mbike Kingdom. How are you today? How is London? <laughs> we are missing you. Yes, we are missing you here. Eh? <laughs> My king. I'll call you back, okay? Yes. So, let me see from the rural community, six for your audience. Okay, let me. Thank you, my friend.
give you a big love. You're welcome, my son. You look like a royal guy. Yes, you do. Who sent you? I was sent by King Ozurumba from Umaru Kingdom. A wrestling contest has been set for the suitors of Princess Uma in two weeks' time. Whosoever that emerges the winner marries the princess. Wow, that's a great news. That's the welcome news. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Yubi. May I take my leave now, Yubi? May the gods of our land see you through back. You see? Tell the king, Uzuruba, that we shall meet on the contest arena. Yeah. Thank you, the king. You're welcome. That's a very good news. Yes. Yes, very good news. <laughs> The eyes of the gods. Do whatever you can to make him the best wrestler in this community. Fortify him within two weeks. Give him the best luck in wrestling. Yes, your highness. I, the mouthpiece of the gods of Ubike Kingdom, shall do very best and leave the rest to the gods of honor. Good. The gods will hear our prayers. As for you, give him the best wrestler one has ever had in this community. I will give you every incentive you may require. Consider it. Yeah. I shall take my Coming to an alarming stage. I don't know what to do next. The last messengers I sent to Mar returned with the message that means absolutely nothing. I eh? just said uh, I will hear from him soon. When is soon? Yes. Father, I mean, would you permit me to pay Princess Emma a visit? Who knows? Maybe she will be wowed by my pleasantries and humility. Yeah. My king, I think our daughter is right. Yeah. Mm, that's a wonderful idea. And how bitter will you feel when you get humiliated again for the second time for dragging into her kingdom with that prior knowledge and permission? I think I should be sending her message. You should try it. My king, my king, excuse me. Um, some messengers from Mumaru Kingdom are here to see you. Bring them in. Okay, man. Then what do I owe this visit? Igwe, King Ozrumba sent us to tell you to prepare Prince Ugo for contest of hunting and wrestling that will take place in a week time. Oh yes, yeah, Igwe, that the winner becomes husband to Princess Uma. It's interesting. It's really interesting. Igwe, may we take our leave now? May the gods bless you and lead your way. Send my regards to my childhood friend, King Gozrumba. My prince has an opportunity. This is good. This is good news. Son. 
color and the ego, the what is standard, to touch with kites or can the lion humiliate itself and dwell in the same forest with foxes. Father, I'm, I'm just tired of all this drama. I'm thinking of forgoing my heart desire than becoming too ambitious, Father. My son, cowards die many times before the real battle. The variants die but once. Pride ruins us, uh, ambitions and victories. I want you to be courageous. Have confidence in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Go into this battle. See, thank you, Father. I thank you so much. Mm-hmm. 
You shall imagine me. You, the prince of Ubikela, shall make us. Us, and we have the backing and support of our ancestors. They are not asleep. The secret is this. The seed is a very viable one. From a viable, respectable, and majestic King Ozurumba. <laughs> our chief priest is here. And we have the full support of our gods and our ancestors. So, Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Take a lead. Get my leg big machine. Let's go to that. Be fast about that. Fast. his way in our forthcoming wrestling competition. Father, you know our hearts. You know we cannot do without you. We commit the forthcoming wrestling competition into your hand. We pray, O oh Lord, oh my God, that you see us through. Dominate. Have your way. Do not allow us to be put to shame. Do not allow any fetish power to come there and triumph. What's the problem? Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. There is a maiden outside our seek for your audience. A maiden? Yes, Your Majesty. From where? From MBK, Your Majesty. From MBK? Yes, Your Majesty. Go and bring her in. Yeah. What could that be? Which is my king? Young girl, what do you seek in my kingdom? And who are you? Your Majesty. I brought information. Information? From where? From Mbaike, Your Highness. From Mbaike? Stop crying and tell me what the problem is. Your Majesty, I was on an errand for my mother, close to the little square at Mbaike. While I was on my way, I saw Prince Obiigwe with a man of Mbaike and the chief priest giving him instructions at the back of his palms, his feet, and on his chest. Your Majesty, they were fortifying him for the contest that is supposed to be natural. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Come, my daughter. Come. Come. 
You mean what you are telling me is true? Yes, Your Majesty. <clears throat> um, we thank God for everything. The answer to our prayers just manifested. Yes. They wouldn't know. Our Father in Heaven works in mysterious ways. Thank you, Father, for this revelation. My daughter, My who is your father? Let Mr. Okonta. Let Mr. Okonta. I see. Wow. Good. Now listen, daughter. Because you have the interest of this kingdom at heart, bringing us such a revelation, such information. After this, our meeting, my daughter will see you to know you better. Okay? okay. And I want to make a promise. I want to pronounce a promise to you. If my, my son, the prince of this great kingdom, Prince Afumwa refuses to take your hand in marriage, I, the king of this kingdom, we have your hand in marriage. And father. Yes. What? What? That is what I will do. My king. Excuse me. <laughs> Stay outside and wait for us. Can you imagine? Okay. Michael wasn't in that. I don't know the meaning, but I have told you to stop. Stop! Why do we have to pray that the God we learn to serve would intervene in tomorrow's contest? I know that the revelation that came to us that <clears throat> some other communities, some other kingdoms, are not seeing it from our own perspective. I want us to call on God to intervene so that any fetish thing that they, they would bring in there would be destroyed. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Father, you said we are two or three are gathered in your name, you are there. You said that whatever we agree upon on the face of this earth will be established in heaven. We pray this moment that our tomorrow's occasion, event, is going to be a success. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that whosoever comes there not believing in you with any fetish power will be destroyed. Amen. Will be disgraced. Amen. Father, we pray that your will will triumph. Amen. Let he that you want to be the suitor of my daughter, of our daughter, triumph tomorrow. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the amen. It is settled. Right? Settled. <laughs> so shall it be. Almighty and everlasting God, the maker of heaven and earth and the king of our souls, Father, we've come before you with our hearts full of pain. For the enemy has set a snare to snatch the desire of my heart, but please do not let it stand. Amen. For you said in your word where two or three are gathered, you are in our midst. So we believe you are in our midst. 
Father, for it is written in your word that we should decree a thing in your name and it shall be established. With that understanding, we decree and declare any power they come with. Father, let it not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. King of King, Lord of Lord. Let all their powers, any power that is not of you, Father, let it fail and let victory be ours. Amen. For tomorrow we are going out. Mm. We are going out with so much expectations in our yes, hearts. Yes, For you said in your word, our expectations shall not be cut short. With that understanding, Father, as we live with so much expectations, we shall come back with victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We shall come back with overwhelming joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. I pray. Yes, Lord. My sister's joy is my own joy. Therefore, I ask, Grant her her heart desire. Amen. Because you are the only living God. Yes, Lord. And you are with us. Oh, yes. The Bible said that one with God is more than majority. Oh, yes. Therefore, I pray that at the end of this whole thing, we shall return with joy. Amen. Just like she said, we are going to return here with overwhelming joy. Amen. Grant Amen. us all round victory. Amen. Grant her her heart desire. Amen. Grant her her heart desire. Amen. Grant her her heart desire. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, because as you have said it, so, so you heard us. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace. May, May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the love of God, and, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Before we proceed, we will do what the tradition demands. I'm calling off uh, uh, King Obomaro to present Kola to his guest. Yes, sir. Happy day indeed. And uh, like the moderator said, we have to do the necessary. <clears throat> and so, take this color to the kings. Thank you very much for the cola. Uh, the good people of Mbike, this is cola. So, the prince will proceed to the king of Mbike. Now to his royal majesty, the head of Mbuku. Who have seen the king's scholar. The king's scholar is the king's hand. A big round of applause. They are not just the ruling the people, they are also the custodian of the custom uh, and tradition of the people. Uh, a short prayer. We would they say the scholar does not hear English. I believe, we all believe it, that uh, Kola North does not hear English language. Nor does it hear any other language apart from African language. Chiko Kikabiyama, Ezebineinu Ogerena Bolana, Ayeke Negi, I call G and Kinyarai. Kola signifies unity, the communion of saints. So, Tata, I know you're going to be a Makota or Jia. Now, I'm going to be a Tata. I'm going to be a Tata. 
Ojea, Zua Nyarun and Bulobi. As no better logic with Arundo. We are now your Jubal Gabiama. I tie up Jack, I thought I'm doing your wine. You are my game, Nedita. This is a gathering of unification. A big round of applause for this is Rumba Faro. One thing he told me some time ago, he said the spelling of OJ is OJI. That O stands for Omenala. Then J stands for Jikoro. Then I stand for Ibo. Uh, that is Omenala Jikoro. Ibo! Uh, we have to continue. <laughs> so we proceed from that. At this juncture, um, we actually want to bring in but let me tell you, first of all, that what we have come here to do is uh, what our grandfathers have been doing, and then uh, we continue doing it after them. Uh, today, we are going to do some wrestling. This wrestling is not just for all comers. It's for those who want to ask for the hand of the daughter of King of Ezaro in marriage you know as a pocritudinous woman i mean as a beautiful woman so many people have been trying to find to, to seek for her hand in marriage there were so many that were resorted to our old tradition of let them coming to slog it out by means of uh, traditional wrestling that's exactly what we are doing today so you are all welcome as you have come, I want to remind you one thing, that you are either standing, sitting, or squatting in the presence of three great traditional majesties. A big round of applause. <laughs> and as such, it will not be a kind of reprimand or rebuke for me to remind you that you have to conduct yourself in the most decorous manner so that your ancestor, our ancestors, will know that, uh, that so that the progenitors, let me go is the same word, the progenitors will know that their progeny are people that are actually cerebral. A big round of applause for that. So having said that, we are going direct to usher in the various communities and their wrestlers and their princes to come and take their seats. So, uh, it will be very wise to introduce the two kingdoms whose princes are seeking for the hand of my beauty in marriage. To my right hand, we have the Mbike kingdom. A big round of applause for them. <laughs> to my left hand side, we probably have the beautiful people. It seems to me that these people are very strong. But these people are too beautiful. Even their men are equally beautiful, not just handsome. So, uh, this is in a way of introducing the Mbubu people. A big round of applause for them. Um, we are now introducing we are now introducing the various wrestlers and their seers or princes or whatever who will lead them or share them into the ring and then give them that mysterious guide and direction and protection to do exploit for their kingdom. Um, well, my son, you taught us to learn and believe from your supposed spouse. But what I am saying is that if by adventure you fail at last, 
do not put the blame on us. Do not. What would you have me do, Father? At least I would have stepped out to look for solution. Because I believe everything has a solution. Yes, my son, your father is right. He would have gone out to seek for solution from the gods and the ancestors. And I know he would have gone this, got the, the solution. How can you speak in such manner, mother? mother, mother eh? Father, have you forgotten what the same God has done for me? Have you forgotten what he has done for me? How he has saved me from, from, from deadly animals? How he averted all the evil attacks of my rival hunters? And you want me to abandon that God? Father, it will not happen. My brother, as a truth, those your openings, they went far in search of... What do you know? What do you know about victory and in search of whatever it is? I'll start with you now and you cannot complete it. Princess Ma has shown me life. And her God is who I will serve. Do I perish, I perish. If I die, I die. But I know he does not change. Why you Brother! Brother! I... Mama, I... Yeah. Now we proceed. Uh, by introducing a various wrestler. Uh -huh. Standing in front of me, you will see the Amuku wrestler, followed by their native dog. Come when they were still, uh, you know, doing the show my sheep, they, they uprooted one a hero, a hero country which was here, and uh, even their competitors ran away for fear that, uh, uh, as it is said, Ebokubara, Mbe, Mbe Wobuibe, Ebony Hege Mokuko, they are coming again. We hope that we have a lot to share today.
this juncture, we want to usher in the chief priest of the host kingdom. What are you doing here? I'm in support of you, brother. You're in support of me. Get out. of our villagers going with us, even as witness. Father, how many people did you invite? I invited a lot of people. But it's obvious none of them showed up. What about you, mother? Son, I invited my friends. But you can see, none of them is here. But my friends said we are not offering food. Drinks or money. Even if the entire village rejects me, God in heaven will not reject me. My victory is heavenly bound, not by my power, but by the spirit of the Lord of hosts. The mountain I see on my way to victory shall be removed by the spirits. I shall go. I shall see, and definitely I will conquer. He that keepeth Israel does not sleep or slumber. Victory is mine. Let it be on record. <laughs> uh, however, it is untraditional for somebody not to represent uh, the host kingdom. So at this juncture, there is somebody, I don't know much of him and his artistry and sophistry. Uh, uh, one ago, uh, hey, look at him coming with his uh, parents. Uh, you might sit down there. You might sit down there. Um, at this juncture, let me actually tell us, uh, apart from the uh, Esozurumba, 
of uh, Omaro, he is the host king here. Just greet them. Thank you very much. Now we go to Mbike. Uh -huh. the, the king of Mbike, Chilekwale, greet us. Cha 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 cha. Orana Kese, Kelen! Kelen! The good people of Mbike, Kelen! Kelen! You're welcome. A big round of applause for them. Now we go to Mbuku. Uh -huh. uh, let the king of Mbuku do the same thing. Oh, I need it. Kenu! Mbuku, Kenu! Mbike, Kenu! Mbaro, Kenu! Um, I want to tell us, maybe those who were not here in time, that what we have come here to do is something which our ancestors have been doing. Uh, our daughter is uh, the most beautiful woman on earth. And I want to believe she's more beautiful than, uh, than Helene, the most beautiful woman in Greece, uh -huh. whose beauty caused the legendary Greek and Trojan War where people like Achilles show their power. Yes. Uh, but however, here we have our own method. No bloodletting. And we want to go about it in the most civilized way. So whoever today triumph over the rest is the one who is actually going to have the hand of this most beautiful damsel on earth uh, at, at this juncture, I will tell you that uh, it's not a kind of um, reprimand for me to tell you, because there are people who say, mind yourself, or they get to more of them. Uh, for me to tell you that you have to mind yourself, conduct yourself in the most decorous way, uh, so that uh, your ancestors will be very proud of you. Um, Uh, we are now summoning the two priests from these two kingdoms. They are the ones who actually won the hand of Mma in marriage. So, the priest of Mbike, come up. Onyaja, give a round of applause for him. Thank you, Russia. Uh -huh. The prince of Umbuku, step out. Uh -huh.
Oh, strange hands. Somebody is representing this uh, local kingdom. Uh, uh, where is Ago? Ago, you can come forward. Where is Ago? We are making progress. At this juncture, uh, we are calling the wrestler from Omwike to come up and uh, take the representative of Omaro by name Ago. I said I don't know him or I have not seen him kill a rabbit, even a rat, let alone coming in this very big arena. A big round of applause for them. Are you not confident in your representative? complete animal. So we are getting there. Uh, we saw that the wrestler of Mbuku defeated the wrestler of uh, Mbika. And the Ago defeated the wrestler of Mbika. Well, now we are going to the grand final. And that will be between the wrestler of Mbuku and uh, uh, well, our own Agu of Omuaro. Our own Agu. Yes. So, uh, the wrestler of uh, Mbuku, come out. Let's decide the final. Yeah! 
Challenge Ago. Bring some. Oh, you can do this. You can do one walk. You want that? You want that? Yeah, one walk. You want that? Unimaginable has happened. I want to say whether you are won, whether you are the winner, let us accept ourselves with happiness and joy. Bearing in mind our purpose of organizing this, it is for us to be in unity, to foster love in the unity. And I believe we have achieved it. Therefore, without taking much of our time, my people, I wish to announce it for the three kingdoms that have gathered. That Agu is my son-in-law. And the winner of wrestling. Hands of God for him. I want to call my daughter, Princess Mma. I want to see you here. Your heart desire has been achieved today. That is to prove that man is not God. Otherwise, I must have to confess, the entire family was against her for making her own choice of husband. But the God we serve has given her a wonderful support today. Please have some applause. I therefore, I therefore want to hand my daughter over to my son-in-law. Kneel down, Ago. Let me have your hand. Bring your hand. I join the two of you today, husband and wife. 
<laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much, King Ozurumba of uh, Omar. Hey, Abama, hmm? I hope there is no trouble. Have you committed anything at Omaro? Mama, hey. don't kill her with questions. Uh, Are you her mother? I'm her mother, my son. Your daughter has found favor in the sight of the royal family. You boy Uzumba demand to see you tomorrow. Me? Yes, Mama. Hey. Please, Mama, I have to take my leave. Ah. Yes, ma. Ghost of our land. Mama. Hey. My daughter. Hmm? Mama. How are you? How have you been? Abama, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Hey. Let's let's go inside. What did you cook? Ah. What I cooked. I hope all is well. I'm going inside. Abama, I hope all is well. Abama. Abama. Mama. Come here. Stop mumbling me. Come, 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 come. Where is she? Come and sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Only a cotu igodo. Igodo ye cote. Eh? I know there is a trouble. There is a problem. Look at your face. Eh? Hey. Hi. What is it I'm hearing? What evil have you committed against the king of Omar? Mama, I did not do anything. Eh? Abomma. Abomma. Mama. Hey. Nti na no ihe. Ebu pisi. Nti soria. Eh? What is this your parabola in everywhere? See? Nya 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 you're moving, moving, moving. Any evil comes out of it, you will face it squarely. Abom, I said, you will face it squarely. Oh. Hey! Mother. Daughter. Mama. Mm -hmm. You've always taught me, let my yes be my yes. And my no, my no, which I've been practicing. So if any evil will warrant this, then I'm ready to go for it. Eh? Yes. Hey! Too quiet here. Because of our land. Please, in your hands, I commit my daughter. Please. I don't have anything to defend myself or my daughter, please. Please, the laws of our land, save her for me. All is well. All is well. Ah. We are sent from the royal family, Igwe Ozurumba, that henceforth your daughter becomes the wife of the heir apparent to the throne, Prince Afuma. Hey, my daughter. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Chuku. Have smiled at us. My sons, repeat what you told me before my daughter. Yes, we are sent from the royal family. Uh -huh. Yes, Igwe Uzurumba. That henceforth, your daughter here becomes the wife to the heir apparent to the throne, Prince Afoma. Why? <laughs> Aboma, my daughter. Me. You. <laughs> Why, Fono? <laughs> to the heir apparent. <laughs> the ghost have finally remembered us. My daughter. Open up my bag. Family of Okonta, you're welcome. 
am so happy and pleased that you did not turn my request down. Thank you for the honor. I wish to tell you that your daughter, Abomma, has found favor in the Prince of Umarumike Kingdom. I wish to announce to you that we are hooking the two of them as husband and wife. Ibe. Yes. From now we will take up her responsibility as a wife of this household. So come forward, my daughter. Come forward. Now, one more. Your Majesty. Today, I declare you a legally married wife. To Prince Afungwa. <laughs> and with this symbol, you remain his wife until death. <laughs> and I say, he shall be well with you. Amen. Yes. You will live with him and grow into maturity. Yes. You shall together grow children and you shall have children, children. I know you will get it. Ure. You know I'm not good at guessing. What is it? Okay, what? your father wants to see me. No, you failed it. Then tell me what it is. Okay, come. Prince Ugo have got me made him to marry. Yes! Ghost <laughs> <laughs> of our land! Ghost of our land, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Are you serious? Yes, mother. Who? Hmm. You will not believe Ooh. me. Calm down. Calm down. Oh. Atalugo, the first daughter of King Ozirumba of Umaro Kingdom. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> I know it. I'm so happy. I know I'm our so gods happy. are not asleep. <gasps> what? Mother, stop. I know our gods are not asleep. Thanks be to our gods. The king of Hades. No, mother. Do not make mention of the gods to the prince, else you will see the best in him. Yes. Why, why would you sound like that? Huh? Speak no blasphemy against the gods of our land and our ancestors. No, mother. What is your problem? Prince Ugo, you know, now believes in his new choice of religion. Yes. Oh! Now I know how the water passed under the bridge. So this is it. Yes. This is it. Mother, you need to, you need to come down. Mother, please, you just. Change of religion. Just imagine. That is my headache. Oh God. 
because when I made reference to that effect, he shut me up, saying that the gods are dead. Black man. What nonsense. Hi, you see, God, an elder cannot be in the house while a god delivers in debtors. I will call him to order. Just imagine. Hi. You know, if a child is given advice or directed on what to do and he refuses, when the head is cut off, it falls to the ears. Ah, God. How did this young man become so stubborn? me now as a son. Let me follow my heart, desire. Nonsense. I have made up my mind. No more going. Will you shut up? Come on, leave my business. Just imagine this one. How did he become so stubborn in this house? Where did I go wrong? I tried to train this boy in traditions of this land. Change belief, religion, and tradition. What are you insinuating? All I'm trying to say is one's decision to choice of religion should be respected. You and I know that the king, his majesty, will get your head off your neck if he hears this. I did not discuss anything with you. I'm going. So that is why I had to make Esther come. Ugo, my sister's handing over to her husband will take place in a few days from today. And that can also serve as a day of your marriage. Ugo, I need you to make Esther quickly. Come and take my sister's hand in marriage. Everything will just fall into place simultaneously. <laughs> Prince Afonwa, now I know you are a friend indeed. I, I know you have shown me so much love, though I don't want it. But I have an inch, I don't know. Some itches? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ugo, what itches are you talking about? Look, I can join you and fight them. I can join you and fight them if need be. But first of all, we have to break all barriers. We have to break the boundaries. You know the scripture says. Oh, that, there you go again, Prince Ugo. There you go again. I know you are ready to fight or kill someone for my sake. But remember, you cannot kill who you will mourn. Remember? I don't understand. You go make me understand. What, what, what do you mean by I can't kill who you have your mourn? What do you mean by Just that? try to understand me. My father, the king, kicks against my newfound faith in the living God. Oh God. Oh God. The poor by the arm. The scripture says that one with God is a majority. God is the father of the fatherless. He's the mother of the motherless. He is the brother of the brotherless. My friend, you have to do the needful. The brethren will stand in for you. The Bible says that with God all things are possible. Cheer up. Come with me. <laughs> <laughs> 